Hi guys. I'm a little bit out of breath because I completely forgot. So I woke up this morning, you know, did what I usually do in the morning, got myself ready apart from I'm in mean, pajamas, you know. Had breakfast, did my teeth and stuff, you know, did my hair. Um and my mum was like, Oh, we're baking cakes today, like muffins. So like, okay. So I started helping them with the cakes, we're about halfway through. And I was like, we're talking about like cakes because it's my birthday in a couple of days. And suddenly I was like, Emma's birthday is on the 7th. I think this is going up on the 3rd, but today is the 2nd. And Emma's birthday is in like a couple of days. So I don't usually like to do her birthday on her actual birthday. Um, because it's like too close to mine and it's super stressful. So I'm doing it early May. Usually we do it either very late May or we do it very early May or late April. So we're doing it now. So I need to wrap her presents, that's one thing. Um, we don't have to bake her cake because I'll just use one of the muffins that we've made and put a candle in it. <sighs> She's turning six years old, I can't believe it. I've had her for six years, like I made her her actual age that I got her. I've had her since I was five I think, like for my fifth birthday. Um, yeah, I got her just before my fifth birthday, I was still four, but like, well they said Basically, I know I got her before the 7th, because I've been, I had my birthday party on the 7th of May, when I turned 5. Um, I know that because I have all my friends, like, pictures of all my friends and stuff. Charlotte was in it, first ever birthday party I had. And uh, I had Emma in the pictures, and I got her that year, um, like, on, for my birthday. But um, for some reason, we've always thought her birthday is the 10th, but it's actually the 7th. So, I need to find Emma. This is start. Here she is. So, some years we like can't find the baby because we can like find the baby. Hey Emma. Okay. So Emma's birthday soon. Um we're gonna take her out an outfit and stuff, we're gonna get her all ready and then we'll just get it covering and so it's gonna come really bad. So um get her first like presents. And we've already got her cake, my brother Charlie's making it, and um, my mum downstairs. Emma's got a thing called a lazy eye where her eye doesn't work properly, but yeah. Okay, so let's get Emma ready. So, Emma is a baby Annabelle. I don't know if you met her, I think you probably have her now because I think I'm doing like big groups, so yeah. And I have three baby Annabelle. So Whoa, this lesson has been on her for like years. Okay. Emma doesn't need to wear a nappy. I don't know why I put her in one. If she didn't need it at all, like, I don't need it. I'll put that in the bin in a moment. We have more nappies. Um, should I put one on her? I'm not going to. It's not needed. Okay. So, we are going to clean her off. So I've got some wipes here, and I'm going to just clean her. I've got some wipes here. I'm just going to clean Emma. So, the reason I clean her is because Emma can get really dirty and it's just really gross. And then, when baby Annabelle's and sometimes baby boys get dirty, it kind of stains them. So, it's super gross. So, I clean each baby on birthdays and Christmases. I usually clean them just to make sure. And I just clean with wipes if they can't go in the water because, you know. I don't want to cut them wet. Okay. Emma's not that dirty. She's got some hair left on her that she's had for a while. Because well, obviously I had her when I was really little, so I would like draw near her and it would get like all over her. Okay. I don't know if Emma can still drink or not. I think she can. I don't know if she's still got batteries. Let me see. Hang on, let's see what I on. She's on already. She does. She doesn't work with that well, but she has batteries. Her, she, has, she also has a brother the same, but the boy version, and she's the, how old she was, present she is? She's the version of 2006, and I've got also a uh, calling and walking baby I called Layla, um, who is the 2009, and then I've also got a, um, one, like her, but a boy version, who is the 2018. So, and you guys saw me open him, that was on my YouTube channel, um, about a year ago, and I called him Alexander. Okay, so let's get Emma dressed and find some stuff. 
to so put like a cute headband on her and stuff. I like to make the babies all like dressed up for their birthdays. Also, if you see like a line around her head, um, it's not very obvious. But it's only if you like roll it at her. I don't know if you can see it. This is um one of my friends gave me a green headband. Uh, well, headband, and I stretched it so much that it fit around Emma's head. I left it on for years, and it kind of stained. Um, but now let's do her clothes. So I'm gonna lay her down. I usually like to put them in their original outfits, but Emma was just in her original outfit. But I think I'm gonna put her in it. I always put the babies in their original outfits if I can find it, just because I think it's more special. But I'm gonna do that on her actual birthday. So on her birthday, you know. I'll put her in her original outfit, but I think that she needs to wear something a little bit more dressed up because you guys don't, on your birthday lesson, you're not going to wear like your first baby girl, are you? That's just going to be weird. So I'm going to find her a new outfit. Oh, this is really cute. I've got like a whole drawer of baby under a bit of warm stuff because they're like thin. Oh, there you go. So I think this is baby born, but it'll fit her. It's like an Elsa dress, and it's perfect for a little six-year-old's birthday. I think it would look super cute. It's quite old. I got the 2016 Christmas, but it's adorable. I really like it. So, yeah. The baby Elias also wear this a lot. Okay, so Emma can have this. Hit this, hit this. Now we're going to find some hair accessories. I wore this to my hair. Um, I think this is really pretty. It has, like... I think it would really match. I don't know if it would fit her head though. We might have to wrap it around her head twice because it barely fits my head, it's so big. Let me see. Oh, it looks super cute though. Okay, let me wrap it around the second time. I hope this video is not going to be too long. It has to be less than 20 minutes, or less than 12 minutes ish. So let's hope it is. Okay. There we go. I think that's really cute. Plus, imagine her wearing the Elsa dress. I think that would look super cute. Um, I need to do some stuff for her lazy eye as well, and then we will just sorry about the background noise. Sorry, sorry, um, we will get her all ready, and I'll wrap some presents and stuff for her birthday. Okay. So, put her dress on. I hope it fits. Because Emma's quite big. She's not. She's not like baby born to baby like, so they're quite like thin or like small. Emma's really, really, really fat, um, which makes putting outfits on her a little bit harder. So let's do it. So yeah. Okay. Oh, it just fit perfectly, and it's really cute on her. I think it's really sweet. Charlie? Yeah. Emma's having her birthday today. You wanna come see her? I'm filming. Look, I'm filming, baby. I'm filming. So the nap that Emma away. Now what I do at Christmas is I usually so I usually don't have to wrap presents very often. Is because at Christmas I wrap about 300 presents, so everyone can have around three. Um, we don't always get the time to open them all, so ones we don't open I use for their birthdays. So I've got some in here. Um, that we didn't open. I've also got lots of presents in here that I've got specially for each baby that we can wrap. Either for this year or for next year. For Christmas maybe or for birthdays. There's loads in here. Oh there's another one not opened in there. Oh wait. Oh yeah most of these are open. Yeah they're all open. But um oh wait there's one there's a couple that's not open actually. That's surprising. That's bliss. I'm trying to just find some for Emma. Summer. Where's Emma? Bliss again. Because Emma really needs presents. Sophia. Also, I have put Emma away. I don't know if I mentioned that. Because obviously, I couldn't see her. Enough. Emma's favourite favorite thing in the whole world, more than anything, is Hello Kitty. And if anyone knows who Emma is, they know she loves Hello Kitty. Everyone knows, everyone knows. Hello Kitty is Emma's favourite thing in the world. So, and I found oh, I bought this for Emma. It's a blue Hello Kitty rubber. I think it's super cute, considering that she's now in year one. I think this would look so cute in her little pencil case. And I'm going to wrap this one up for her. I don't know if there's any in here for Emma, so I'm going to have a look. I don't think so. 
because I think she opened all hers at Christmas. I usually do, um, so what we usually do at Christmas is we open them on the 23rd, 24th and 26th so that, you know, we can open as many as possible and they all have to be wrapped by the 20th. Um, so I start wrapping around um, early November and I finish wrapping around just before, like a, a couple of days before Christmas because that's when they're needed to be wrapped. I have plenty of stockings. I am constantly all year sorting out stockings and stuff and it's just, it's a lot of fun. Christmas is literally, I'm addicted to Christmas. Everybody knows that. At one point I started wrapping Christmas presents for them in January and like I wrapped over a thousand and it was just ridiculous. My mum now has banned me from wrapping presents until um, November so that's when I wrap them. So yeah, let's try and find hmm, more stuff that Emma would like. There's quite a lot of things in here. I buy them each like personalised so I know who each one's for. I'm just trying to find some more of the Hello Kitty stuff. Le um, Emma and Layla are the only ones that like um, Hello Kitty. Like mainly like love Hello Kitty. So those are usually the ones I buy Hello Kitty stuff for. I found the Hello Kitty sharpener. I'm a little shop, but it's a Hello Kitty sharpener. Um, so I think she'll like this. But I took the sharpener out. Somebody else just wanted to play sharpener. And I can just use the Hello Kitty. It's like a little pop for stuff. I think it's really cute. I think Emma would love it. Also, I wonder if her rubber would fit in here. Oh, it doesn't. It's a little bit too big. But Let's find some more. I know I have at least one more Hello Kitty thing. Hmm. Can't find any. Now, if you if I get a tree box, what's in here? The main thing you'll see, the Lego cards. There's thousands of Lego cards. We usually, at each Christmas, we wrap them up in like a little pack like this. So we get... This is a double pack, which means there's, oh, it is two single packs, so just stuck together. If I can separate them, I'll show you, but basically, in the, the, the regular, the three regular cards and the shiny. So, we kind of made like our own little Lego card packet for the kids. My, one of my girls, Hannah, she's tiny, a baby tiny kid, um, she got this. This is like a little set thing I made. Hmm, can I look for Emma? Oh, there! Yeah. Puppet penguins. I love this. Oh, I hope I can it one in. It's like a little notebook thing and it's really cool. You can write stuff in it and I think it'll be super cute. So I am going to give her like this. I'm also going to give her a couple more presents because I don't think that's enough. If you saw Charlie and Madison's birthday, you saw that they had a decent amount of presents. They had about two, three, about five each in the end. But I just didn't show them all. They they got car seats and stuff. It was really cool. So Emma's into like lots of you know, organizing stuff, writing stuff, and like rubbing stuff out and stuff. So that's why she's got like lots of these type of things. She loves Hello Kitty. Um, I do have Hello Kitty figures. I might give her some. That might be a good present. Let me get them off. So in my like Barbie container boxes. I keep Hello Kitty. So I'm going to get them out of Some little Hello Kitty figures. Um, I also have a whole box of Hello Kitty stuff. Um, that I hide from them as well. Because I use them for presents. But I want to save some stuff. Um, I think these are really cute. Mm -hmm. Drop them. I think these are really nice. And she's got a girl and a boy I think. That should be good. That should be a nice amount of presents. I might get her one more. If I find something that she really like, I have a Hello Kitty ruler somewhere. So maybe if I can find that, she might just want that because everybody likes a Hello Kitty ruler. Um, I don't know where it is, but if I find it, oh look, Hello Kitty lip gloss. I've got my Hello Kitty lip gloss, so you can have that as well. So I think there should be quite a lot of presents, you know, a decent amount. We'll wrap them in like little sections. So if this is a present. That is a present. That's a decent amount, I would say. Um, I usually give them a book as well, but she's got a notebook, so I don't think I should give her a book. Um, 
I might give her some Lego cards as well. Okay, I've given her a double pack of Lego cards where it has two different packs. So two shinies and two like of everything else. That is a lot of presents. I hope she will like those. I'm gonna wrap them up. By the way, in next in the next video will be her actual birthday party, which I'm gonna do this afternoon. I'm super excited. Um, the good thing about doing some of their parties not on their actual birthday is that you don't have to do it like straight away as soon as they wake up. You can do it later in the day because it's not their actual birthday anyways. So that's what we usually do. So I think this is this should be a lot of presents for Emma. So I'm now going to wrap them up. I'm going to get some wrapping paper and I'm going to start wrapping them up. Usually wrapping paper we use paper or if we do have wrapping paper I'll use it. So I'm going to go and find some, wrap them all up and then I'll come, well actually I'll film some of me wrapping some of the presents up and then after I've wrapped some of them up what I'll do is I'll say thanks for watching and stuff and I'll upload that video and then this afternoon I'm going to film Emma's actual party. Now for Emma's party we're doing a couple of different things so she can open her presents just forgotten I need to wrap the pasta parcel. Okay, I need to do the pasta parcel as well. I'll make the pasta parcel on camera as well. And then, so we're doing a roller skating party. So we're all going to go on roller skates and blades and stuff and go in the garden. We're going to unwrap presents, obviously do a pasta parcel and have cake. Which I think is going to be super duper fun. I think she'll enjoy it so much. And so what do we let them do for parties? Usually if it's someone like Scarlet or Sophia... Um, if one of my friends has reborns, I will uh, I will actually invite them around. Obviously, I'm so lucky. All my reborns birthdays, all of them, are in the lower half of the year. Um, Sphere's in, in, in August, Scarlet's in October, Nathan's in December. Actually, Chi-Chi's in July, that's the lower half of the year though. So, like, I have them I have them a little bit more spaced out, so I'd actually like a big party in quarantine, so it's easier. Hopefully we're not in quarantine by December. <laughs> um, but basically, uh, the other thing is, um, so I let them invite a couple friends, um, like in the in out of all my babies. So Emma's best friends are Layla, um, Lincoln, her brother Alexander. Do you have any more friends? I don't know if she does. Oh, and Elizabeth. So she's got four friend, friends and then presents and stuff. It's going to be super fun. I think she's going to really enjoy her birthday. And yeah, so I'll be back one So I'm not doing invitations just because it is today. So I don't really want to do invitations. I'll just, we just don't have people coming. I managed to get as much wrapping paper as we had in the house. Um, there's this brown wrapping paper. That's what I find. There's this star wrapping paper. I can find this much. And there's another star wrapping paper. I can really find this much. So hopefully it's enough. Um, should be. Let me get my scissors and my tape wherever that is. Oh, here they are. Where's my tape? Oh, oh where is my tape? Hmm. Let me find it and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I've decided instead of giving them like this, um, I'm going to use it. Actually, no, I'm going to keep I'm going to give me another this. I'm going to keep this as the main and then I'm going to give her this. Hello Kitty Ruler. So she'll have that. I'm going to put this in the past the parcel. Um, so I am going to cut this. Let's go. So I'm going to make the past the parcel. Not too many there. There's only four of them. But then me, Elle and Charlie might want to open one. So I'll make it a six layer past the parcel. No, less than that. Like, well, there's the main one, so there needs to be at least five other. Okay. So I'm gonna do six layers. So I'm just wrapping up the lip gloss. Hopefully, this is gonna be a birthday for Emma. I hope so. I don't know if her birthday vlog's gonna be um you know, like uploaded until tomorrow because this will probably go up when we're doing her actual birthday, and then. The other one might not go up till tomorrow morning, but yeah, just keep what like keep watching out for it because it will probably come. If by the time you finish this video, it might have already come. Um, like it might just be going up, so I would watch out for it. Okay, so we've got the main present. So now we've got so in each note, I'm gonna put some Lego cards. 
collection. How many do we have? We have a lot. Let me just see. There's a couple here. Let's see these. Okay, so each layer is going to be two level parts. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect, perfect amount. Okay. As you know, we need two. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to put it like this much. Okay. Um, I really hope that this actually goes like a good birthday because I knew that um, we don't we like to do a lot for the babies' birthdays, um, especially the special babies. Some of the babies that aren't that special, you know, we'll do something for them, like we'll maybe do a cake or a couple of presents, but we won't do like a whole massive birthday present party or whatever. If we get a new baby, sometimes we give them a few presents, maybe just small little thing, but we don't do like a big thing. You know, it's, it's quite fun. Another question is, who opens the presents? Well, if you watch my YouTube um, Swirly Magic video, you'll probably know that, um, what's she called? Um, Charlie opens the presents, so he's, he opens all of the presents for almost all of the birthdays, um, and yeah, and the reason he opens them all is because Charlie is very little, and if he sees a present, he'll want to open it, so it's only fair if we let him open them, because obviously we don't want to open them if we don't need to, if someone else would like to open them, then we'll let them open them. I'm rambling on so much, and I barely have any time left, I have like two more minutes left until I have to end the video. So I'll try and do this real quick. <coughs> okay, so just still rocking out the first puzzle because I don't know why, because it's really hard. Okay, we've done a couple of layers now, so we shouldn't have we're nearly halfway I would say. This layer is up so badly because that isn't enough lesson people, but who actually cares any more? I certainly don't. Um Okay, so I'm going to have to end the video here, I'm so sorry. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, um, and watch out for my un upcoming video either tomorrow morning or this afternoon. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.